Hi. Um, and Nadal, congratulations on your win. And I would like to know how do you feel after the game and if you're ready to give it another try. I lost, by the way. Yeah, I know, but it's a, it's a, it's a win anyway. Parece mentira que reporteros profesionales hayan hecho algunas de las preguntas que vamos a ver en este vídeo. Hoy vamos a repasar algunas de las preguntas más estúpidas jamás hechas a tenistas profesionales. Si esto suena interesante, vamos con el vídeo. Okay, but you gotta be careful how you phrase the question. You don't want to be rude to the other players because you gotta face them. I don't have to face them. Yeah, I don't ask them stupid questions like that. Um, I think there's a lot of good players on the tour. I tell you that. Nick, there was a moment at the end of the match where you were cleaning up. Yes. Um, I think you tossed away a banana. Was that just so the ball kids wouldn't have to do it? <laughs> you gotta do better than that, bro. Come on now. Oh my god. Is it a serious question? Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, the next question. Nick, how pleasing was it to play some of your best tennis in the tiebreakers oh there? <laughs> Can't believe what I just said. What was that? How pleasing was it to play some of your best tennis in the tiebreakers where the pressure was ratcheted up? Um, yeah, I mean. Uh, and yeah, remember you said uh, that your ranking has dropped to a specific place. London, Rafa. Um, I just wanted to ask, uh, you, you haven't reached the semi-finals at the Australian Open since you won the title in 2009. I just wondered if there's anything you find difficult or challenging about the conditions compared to other Grand Slams. And also, do you think that this year it's not normal to, for you to play a warm-up tournament at Melbourne Park because that option hasn't been there in the past? Do you think that will help you? I am very sorry to 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 tell you. <laughs> I, I don't want to, but I have been in the final of 2012, uh, 14, 17, 18, <laughs> and another semi final. So <laughs> I got injured a couple of times here in my tennis career. So uh, of course, have been a uh, a great tournament for me, and of course, I... congratulations. Uh, um, Congratulations. I lost. You lost? Yes. Oh, okay. So, what what happened out there? Are you serious? No. Uh, did, did you watch the match? No, I, I didn't. I was told that you won. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so en France, s'il vous plaît. You feel after that match, you feel good, in good shape going into the quarterfinals. <coughs> sorry, excuse you me. Your form, you feel your form is good going into the quarterfinals? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Obviously, you've got a lot of matches too. Is it right? Or is he trying to make fun no, of me? No, I'm not. Sorry, 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 sorry. And, um, you know, I had a great season last year, and I think I'll have another good one this year. Roger, uh, when you lost three years ago with the three straight sets in 2008, mm. here at the Australian Open, uh, do you see any similarity with that match and the one of tonight? Or? Why compare? No, just to find out if you played better when I last the other time, or if he was playing different, if something changed, or exactly the same. Just, just I think it was. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's the, the greatest question, to be honest. Uh, what do you want me to say? I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I think it's re not relevant tonight, so... Roger, two days ago, Novak said he has spent a lot of time at Wimbledon over the years. I'm curious if you've ever taken time out to notice how many nice flowers they have here. I don't know, man. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot, I cannot tell you. Um, 
a clear answer. And um, and that's it. No. Um, you spent a lot of time at this place over the years. I'm curious if you ever taken moments to notice how many nice flowers there are at Wimbledon. <laughs> um, I think I do. I always uh, like the IV, you know, more so almost. I know there's a lot of flowers and uh, especially that first sort of first first week when we the practice week when we wander around the grounds we get a a bigger chance to uh, enjoy them and we see the gardeners working on them afterwards it's very much you know press room locker room um, arrival millennium building and all so forth and you sort of start to not see them anymore but you can feel you know sort of the, the purple and green and and also in the flowers and so it's, it's nice I like flowers so good okay. question <laughs> Jonathan. Yannick, a few days ago I asked you if you played tennis more like a sinner than a saint. So today when you played your best tennis at the start of the match, how close did you feel to tennis heaven? And then when Rafa played his best tennis, how close did that feel to tennis hell? Well, you know, it's... Uh... I don't know what Rafa said about his level, um, but I think he played uh, very high level today. Um, he was pushing the ball very hard. Uh, I'd like to know if when you, you have a positive attitude when you say, OK, good that I played five sets, but wouldn't you prefer to be Rafa Nadal who wins uh, six love, six one, six love uh, and one hour and 30 minutes? Wouldn't you? Change? I really don't understand that question. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Should I ask Agassi? No, you should ask Nadal. I think you, you're a bit late for his press conference. It was four hours ago. The second time this has happened for you uh, against Novak and that you've walked out and you've taken the wrong chair when you walk, walked out onto the court. Did the you realize? Chair? Yeah, you sat down on the wrong chair. I think the towels were on the wrong side. Yeah, OK, a towel doesn't mean much to me, to be quite honest. I'm not going to be pushed by a towel on this side and that side. I sat on that side of the chair when I walked out against uh, Thomas. So I said, like, I'd like to sit here again. I'm walking out first. So uh, usually the guy who walks out first decides which sides he wants to sit on. One, two, three, four, five. That's when asking Andy one, two, three, four, five, not hearing a thing. We can hear you on the Caridine. Yeah, they, I can hear Caridine, yeah, but, I, but they can't hear me. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? No? Nothing? 